So, you want to make a city building, but you're not a construction worker. You've come to the right place. Hey guys, one by Tetsu by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.81, once again, and we're taking a look at how to make a city building, and let's get started without any further ado, you know what time it is, it's default cubes day, once again. It's been a while, guys, it's been a while. We're gonna use default cube here, I'm gonna hit S to scale them up, though, so just scale them up just a little tiny bit, then I'm gonna hit uh, G... At GZ, sorry, GZ, move them up a little bit. Yeah, actually, you know, what I'm, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hit tab and then double tap A, make sure everything is selected. Then GZ2. So now he's resting on the grid, then hit enter. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into tab, hit edit mode, uh, and then GZ to scale the, the building up this way. So that's, that's pretty nice. Nice tall building for us to work with. So I'm gonna hit shift A and go to mesh plane and hit S to scale it up approximately the size of the the base of the building here. So uh, I'm going to hit RX 90 to rotate 90 degrees on the X axis. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, tab to go into edit mode. Hit three on my numpad to go into the side view and then hit GX, GY, sorry, to move this to the forward. Uh, and now what I want to do is I want to get this as nice and as close as possible to the building here. So I'm going to zoom in all the way. I'm going to zoom in all the way until we get to this line right here. So whatever line is closest to the building, I want to put it right there on that line. I don't want it to be right up against it because it's, it's going to glitch. So I'm going to put it one line away. And trust me, that's so far away. Uh, that's so close up. You're not going to be able to tell once we're done. So now that we have that, I'm going to hit GY to move, GZ to move this upwards, sorry. Then SZ to scale this on the Z axis, just so it, it kind of matches the front of the building here, which is what I want. So we'll do something like this. I want to grab our building, and actual the actual building, and go to material mode here, the material tab, and change the base color to black, and make sure that the specular is all the way off and the roughness is all the way off. Uh, now, with the actual plane here, now we're going to do some special, special stuff. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and split our window into two here. So, just drag that um, from the left. Uh, and then we're going to change this to the shader editor. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, new right here to create a new material for our plane, for our building face, I guess you would call it. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, shift A. And we'll, we'll add uh, a couple of things. We'll add a brick texture first, so brick texture. And then we're going to go ahead and add in a color ramp. There we go. Now, I guess, I know you're wondering, what are you going to do with this? I'm going to plug the color ramp color into the principal BSDF shader. Turn my render viewport shading on just for a second here. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and hook the brick texture up into the color ramp as well. Uh, so now you can see what we have here. What we have is something not exactly what I want, but you'll see in a second. All right. Uh, so, I want to change a lot of these values here. So, we'll change these values to, I believe, the values that I used was 10. And I, I know you, you're probably seeing where I'm going to go with this, right, uh, at this point. So, I'm going to change this to 0 .02. 0 0.02 works fine. You could just leave it on that, to be honest with you. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to change the frequency, I believe it is. Yeah, the frequency needs to be on 1. We need to just go ahead and do the stuff that I want to do. So if you can, if you can't tell already, the color ramp is deciding the color of the buildings here. So I can I can even put this from linear to constant, and then grab this white color, and then just hit move it backwards like this to create some building windows, which is just so cool. I can change the scale to like something bigger too. If you want bigger windows, I don't know how you want that, but you can do that if you want to. You can turn it to 15, so you have a lot more windows. I don't know what you're doing, but you can do something. Uh, and I also want to hit tab and go into edit mode, go to line right here, and then just kind of pull this bottom line up a little bit because there's not, there's never windows that far down in a building. So maybe the first like four floors won't be uh, places with windows. We'll just do that just because it's going to bug me. Actually, no, we'll do even more than that actually. So we'll move it up like there. Hit G, Z to just go straight up, by the way, and then S. X, maybe a little bit, scrunch them a little, together a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. And then there's never that buildings up at the top like this either. So we'll hit S, Z, uh, G, Z, sorry, to move them down just a little bit so it's out of the way there. And I think that's good. Yeah, perfect. All right, cool, sweet. So uh, we got to turn the specular all the way down and roughness all the way down on this piece as well. So uh, that's what we're going to do. But we don't really even need the principal BSDF shader, so I'm going to delete that. 
delete it, delete, delete it, there we go. And hit Shift A and search for an emission shader. You guessed it, because you know how much I love emission here on the Tuts by Kai's. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, ooh, I deleted something by accident. I, I knew it because I felt like it had deleted something I didn't want it to. All right, there we go. Do that again. I got rid of that. I don't know what's up with that. I guess I didn't uh, I guess I guess didn't click the uh, principal BFDF, BSDF shader. There we go. That's what I want. And I also want to go ahead and go to the render tab here and go to color management and turn it from filmic to standard because that's changing the color, as you can see. It bugs me so bad. All right, cool. Uh, next thing, I want to change this color from white to yellow, of course, because building lights are always stereotypically yellow. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and do something like that. I like it, but uh, you can change the number of windows by dragging this little slider up and down. So maybe everyone's home. Maybe everyone's home. Maybe everyone's up. Maybe less people are. Maybe less people are. Maybe less people are. Maybe no people are, you know. Um, so I want to go for something kind of realistic a little bit here. So I'm going to do something like that, I suppose. Um, and I'm going to turn the uh, scale back to 10 because 15 just seems kind of small to me, I guess. Ooh, let's do 13. That, that seems to work. As long as it's in a, an even number, as long as it's not 13.2, then it's fine, I guess. So we'll just do 13. It looks fine to me. Uh, and we can, the, the great thing about this is, is that you can see if I zoom in here, the blacks are just solid black and I don't really want that because it looks like it's just the actual building. So what I want to do is I want to hit a uh, plus right here and add in another color. And this color is going to be like a gray color. So I'm going to hit this little tab here and then open up the color and then just bring this up just a little tiny bit, just so we can have a couple, a couple, uh, buildings that are not black. Now, if you want to, you can make this whole thing, not black. And then only the pieces in between the windows will be black. I don't want to just do one solid color yellow. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit this little plus button once again and add in another color in between the gray and the yellow. And I'm going to make this one, uh, I'm going to make this one uh, a secondary color yellow. So it's going to be a little bit of a deeper yellow, maybe of a more saturated yellow, something like that, just so they're not all the same exact color. Looks to be good. The last thing we got to do is, as you can see, there's no windows on any other side of the building here. I want to fix that real quick by going ahead and selecting our windows here, hitting Shift D, and then right clicking to cancel that movement, then hit RZ 90. Now you can see it's rotated 90 degrees. Now I want to hold down Shift, this is awesome, and, and select both of those, hit Shift D, right click to cancel that movement, and then hit RZ 180. And now you can see they have now flipped on that side as well. So with those two still selected, I'm going to hold down shift and select these two now as well. Boop, boop. And then we're going to hold down shift and select the actual building. And then we're going to hit control P to parent these to the object. So now when we grab the building itself, all of the windows will move with it instead of them not being able to. So we have this nice building. It's just the coolest thing ever. Now let's say you want a second building, all right? So you go ahead and uh, hit uh, shift, uh, hit B, and then select everything here. Make sure they're all selected. Hit shift D, and then X to, L, Y to move it over. Hit S, Z. Squash everything down. Maybe you got some different size windows. Maybe you got different size, size whatever else. And then maybe I want different colors. So I'm gonna hold down Shift and select all these windows on the second building we have here, right? And then select this one last. And then we're gonna go to the Material tab, hit this little eight, and change this to uh, uh, Build Two. Yeah, that's a great name. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit Control L to link all these materials to the same thing. But first, I want to actually change these colors so you can tell the difference real quick. So I'll change these colors to blue, and maybe like a deeper blue, like a purpley bluish, something like that. Why not? All right. Now, so you can see, only that one changed because we only did that one. So with all these other windows selected on this building, hit Control L and then link materials. Now you can see all those windows are blue as well. So that, my friends, is how you make some nice windows. Uh, and not the operating system on <laughs> on uh, blend on blender in blender really really like this uh, right like this style that's a lot of windows we can get rid of some of these windows here you know because we got a lot of them we got a lot of windows let's go ahead and just knock some of these back real quick yeah but that is gonna be it for today I promise you I'll see you in the next one but until then bye bye